Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with quite a sad announcement as far as my collection is concerned. I unfortunately have found that a very large percentage of my collection has spider mites. So if you'll recall a couple of videos ago, I shared with you that uh, my Dendrobium unicum, I was concerned uh, that she may have died because she had a spider mite infestation. I thought at the time that that infestation was merely confined to just a few orchids. Um, as you know, it is now winter here in my area. And so I struggle because the heating system is on to keep the humidity up in this room. Uh, I try to get it up to 50, but it's more often than not somewhere in the high 30s, low 40s. And unfortunately, that is what makes these spider mites happy. They love drier air, and so they have just gone absolutely crazy in my collection. And um, yesterday, I discovered them, and I took my little cotton swabs and my alcohol and I was rubbing down leaves and I just kept finding more and more and more and more. And so I have to take some drastic measures. So at this point, I am taking different sections of my collection and I will be treating them for spider mites, which means that I'm going to lose a lot of my spikes. So I have a lot of my Phalaenopsis are in spike. I'm hoping um, that the ones that are just kind of small like this, that they will make it through. Um, the ones that are actually in bloom, I'm going to obviously lose those blooms. Um, I do know that um, this treatment is more than likely going to kill spikes and buds, but I have no choice. It may even take out a few of the, you know, more tender plants. Um, but it's either that or allow them to take over my collection and I can't have that. So I am going to be sacrificing some of my beautiful spikes and I am um, absolutely just overwhelmed and saddened by this. this. This year in my collection, I have had such wonderful, beautiful results as far as my plants are concerned, giving me gorgeous, beautiful spikes. Um, beautiful flowers, just so excited about the things to come. And now I'm gonna have to sacrifice most of these spikes uh, because they won't survive the treatment. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking them in sections and I'm going to be completely soaking the orchids in a solution of uh, two parts water um, to uh, I forget the exact ratios, but it's like a tablespoon or two of dish soap. And then there's also some alcohol in there. Um, and you just basically coat the orchid really, really well. I have my, um, my sprayer over here. So you just coat the orchid really, really well with that solution. And you let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you rinse it with water. And that process is going to kill some of these blooms. Um, probably all of my open spikes will be lost and some of my um, new spikes are going to probably be lost and I'm just really upset because I mean my Latoria type dendrobiums are starting to open um, I just have so many beautiful things that were starting and I was so excited about but if I don't take care of this problem and I don't completely eradicate these little beasts my collection will be gone they will slowly kill my entire collection and I will be fighting a losing battle. I can't wait until my orchids are out of bloom because my orchids are never out of bloom. And I can't segregate the ones that aren't blooming from the ones that are blooming and hope that while these plants are blooming, they don't get killed. I mean, we saw what happened with my unicum, so I just can't take that chance and spikes will be back. So I'm just gonna have to be a little bit uh, a little bit hard-hearted here and just do what I have to do. So I wanted to share that with you guys because um, you might see some significant changes in my collection coming up in my next couple of videos. 
um, because a lot of these spikes are going to be gone and um, I'm probably gonna have some damage to my collection um, because not all plants appreciate <laughs> having alcohol and dish soap and water uh, sprayed all over them. And um, you know, some of my Phalaenopsis, I have concerns because it's the winter time and I, you know, I'm gonna try to avoid getting their crowns wet, but who knows? what's gonna happen. So um, yeah, so you're gonna come along on this journey with me. And um, you know, I will definitely update you about how things are going. It is very traumatizing for me. I'm very, very upset, but it, it has to be done. So that's what I wanted to update you with. I hope you guys are having a better week than I am. And I will talk to you all next time.